That's going to kick things off now. Pierre Latour goes jumping across to the front group, I think. And we'll try and secure. In fact, it's not. It's Burgado. So Burgado goes for these uh, bonus seconds. Guillaume Martin looking interested. Christophe Laporte keeping everyone at bay. So the three bonus seconds look like they're going to be secured by Total Energy, but not the riders who could have really benefited from it. Burgado at the front, Laporte hunting him down. 9% the gradient. They've had three wins so far this season. He's in the final kilometre. Has this opportunist attack through the intermediate sprint for Mathieu Burgado paid off. Laporte is fighting back. There's a few twists and turns coming up. Bergado leans the bike over, full out now, accelerates out the corner. Can he do it? Not far now to the race finish for the Frenchman as Christophe Laporte turns left now. He is so close to the line. This will be such an enterprising, opportunist victory if Bergado can hold on. 300 metres to go. They are closing in on him. Keep on going, Mathieu. It's almost there. 300 metres, 200 metres. Now Pedersen starts to go. Is he going to make it? Mathieu Bergado chased down now by Pedersen. Is he going to do it? It's going to be so close on the line. He does it. Mathieu Bergado wins his first ever race for Total Energy. And he just sneaked off the front, didn't he? To go for that intermediate sprint and then built his advantage on the descent. Shaking ahead of Wout van Aert. It shows how much it means these riders train so hard. So many hours of toil, so many hours on their own, just trying to get their form to the point where you can do this. As he said, it was a hard day. He had to focus so much. As, the, as he got two metres from the line, he was wondering who was there. But you just get that sense there with the emotion of Bergado. Just what it means to take his first ever pro win. And it's a World Tour one as well. Susie Gilmo, Guillaume, Wout van Aert, well, he finished third, was pretty close to the front. But this young French rider outwitted them all. Finishes like that are exciting, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. He just rode slightly off the front and then it all started to open up for him to get Pedersen back in position. Jumbo Visma not necessarily wishing to chase too much. None of the other teams with their sprinters.